Hey everyone, and welcome to Cocktails and Dreams. Oh, hey James. Yes. How's it going? Do you need help? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is the bar open? The bar is always open because it's at home. Come on in, James. Oh, hey Chris. How's it going? Good. You look like you're having uh, some trouble on the river there. Oh, you know, every day is different. But <laughs> done for the day, so. Perfect. Yeah. Well, welcome to our set for Cocktails and Dreams. It's beautiful. It is, isn't it, Jeff? Yeah. James is actually a founding member of Whitewater Brewing Company and now Whitewater Distilling Company. Where did we come up with the idea, James? Oh, I believe it was on the mighty Grand Canyon there, Chris. Yeah, yeah. we were on a, uh, a three-week trip through the Grand Canyon, drinking lots of craft beer from Arizona and uh, thought, what better idea than to make craft beer ourselves on the Ottawa River? Bring it home. Yeah. Bring it home, as they say. Well, today our uh, cocktail is coming all the way from the deep south, Kentucky. We're going to do mint juleps. Awesome. A mint julep. I'm sure you've made hundreds of them, James. Personally, I've never had one, so I'm looking forward to you really, you know, walking us through all those intricate steps and, yeah. and uh, showing us your skills. I'd love to. There's zeros in a hundred, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Well, Chris, to start off with this tasty beverage, we need two mugs. Awesome. Looks like you have some Whitewater Brewing Company Ooh, camp mugs. These. Yes, indeed. Delightful. Perfect for around the fire yep. at the end of the day. We also need some mint. Okay. Hence, mint julep. Well, let me hand you that. Thank you. So we'll take about 10 of these leaves. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Compost. Four. So roughly okay. ten mint leaves in each. Yeah. Okay. Then we got uh, just some straight up sugar. Coarse ground. Fantastic. Yeah. How much? We're gonna do one and a halfer, or one. And two. Ooh, nice. Yeah. So, just depends how sweet you like it. Mm -hmm. I'm sweet enough. Yeah. Then we take this little muddler here and do just a nice little dry muddle. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we're really trying to get all that flavor from the mint and muddled into the sugar. Oh yeah. And the smell's That's really coming out. That's a muddling, if I've ever seen a muddling. So while you're muddling, James, why don't you tell us what first interested you in craft beer and craft spirits? I'm not really a muddle tasker. <laughs> I can only do one task at a time. You know, that experience that we had on the Great Grand Canyon and uh, socializing after everything when we're working on the river in the Ottawa River, uh, it's just such a pleasant exper experience at the end of the day to just sit down and have a nice beverage amongst friends and carry on. Yeah, share yeah. stories. Exactly. Now we got some fine Kentucky bourbon. Fantastic. Yeah. So two and a half ounces per. And then we go back to the muddle. Awesome. Go. Oh, we're gonna crush some ice. <laughs> Fantastic. Here is some ice. Excellent. So, if you've got a nice crusher at home, that works too. This is the low budget ice crushing option. Suitable for camping, in the backyard, whatever you like. Low budget and more fun. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> Let me hold those for you. I think that looks done. Oh yeah, beautiful. Great. Toss it in. So it looks like you've almost filled the mugs here. Oh yeah. What's next? Uh, now. Well, let me tell you what's next. Yes, please do. <laughs> Stir these up. Chill, we're, we're chilling down the bourbon now, right? We're yeah. Chilling down all the content. Yeah. So 
you want to stir your mugs until they start to frost up nicely. The next step, we're taking some of that fine crushed ice and mounding it up. Oh, cool. Kind of like winter time making a snowball. Yeah. Popping it right on top there. We got that sweet mint straight from the garden. Get a couple of uh, sprigs of this. Gotta make sure you slap it. Get those aromas going. All right, bitters time. Would you care to do the honors with the bitters? So today we have your traditional Angostura's bitters. And we're just gonna have a few dabs over the top of the ice here. Look at that color. If you like. So James, why don't you tell us what you like about a mint julep? Yeah, this is really the mint, the freshness, the crispness, uh, the coolness on a hot summer day. Okay, there we have it. Bourbon, mint, sugar, ice, and bitters. Sounds like my kind of cocktail. Let's, let's try this. All right, cheers. cheers. For those old fashioned lovers, this is a really great minty, fragrant equivalent. I love it. Delicious. Thanks for coming on Cocktails and Dreams, James. It's been a pleasure to have you and I'm glad we could provide that little bit of respite from your perilous journey in your dory. It was my pleasure, Chris. What a great end to the day. Thank you very much for having me. If you enjoy these videos from Cocktails and Dreams, please go ahead and click subscribe and hit the reminder icon on YouTube, IGTV, and Facebook. And there we have it, folks, another episode of Cocktails and Dreams, where the bar is always open. Because it's at home. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I need another one. <laughs>